What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mel with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be talking about a new Chevy Silverado SS Stepside with some massive power and asking the all important question of this series, would you buy one? So let's get into it. All right, so we're back to talking about the Silverado, specifically a new Silverado SS Stepside. Most of, if not all of you, probably recall the Silverado SS glory days. Whether you are a big fan of the old school 454 SS, which if we're going to be honest with ourselves, may not have been much of a technological breakthrough, but it certainly stuck to the trend of the time of cramming giant engines into smaller-ish platforms. Or perhaps the 03 to 06 SS was more your style. It was a bit more of a modern design, came with a 6 liter V8, could blow the tires off on command, and if you can find a clean, tastefully modified or stock one today, they haven't really aged all that bad in my opinion interior side of course yikes now how many of you remember the intimidator ss from 2006 the name which was licensed by dale earnhardt inc was built to honor the legendary american race car driver it came with a few appearance upgrades which included things like a rear spoiler headrest with the intimidator branding embroidered on them exterior badging and also a lowered ride height performance suspension two-stage multi-leaf springs Teneco shocks, a stiffer front stabilizer bar, and being an 06, it was only available in rear wheel drive. It was a pretty cool truck, at least for those of us who actually remember it. Now, sport trucks have always been a really niche product line, whether enthusiasts like to admit it or not, which is probably why their popularity was, at least in my opinion, pretty short-lived. I mean, when was the last time you came across a sport truck on your drive to work? I know I haven't seen one in a while, at least other than the old rotted out S10 that was dragging frame that wanted to race me at the lights in the center of town the other night. But beyond that, they seem to be a pretty rare sighting, at least in my area, sort of like a white Rhino or a BMW using its blinker. Now we've been without a Silverado SS since 2006, but in 2017, when Chevy rolled a supercharged Silverado out onto the show floor at SEMA to display in their factory booth, many of us, myself included, got a little excited. Now, although the truck didn't have some crazy looks that would just stop you dead in your tracks as you navigated the massive show, it might have, if you happened to catch a peek of it with the hood popped, because then you'd see that it did have what Chevy called its concept supercharger system equipped, which was based on the LT4 supercharger from the V8 in the C706 at the time. Now, for some reason, Chevy, in their infinite wisdom, decided to supercharge the 5.3 liter on this truck instead of just going ahead and plopping the LT4 between the fenders, which, if I'm being honest, that would have made a lot more sense to me, but what do I know? According to Chevrolet, the truck was still quite capable, putting down over 450 horsepower. It also came with a performance exhaust system, a cold air induction system, and six piston Brembo brakes to, you know, make sure the old girl could actually stop at a reasonable distance. It had 22 inch wheels, blacked out bow ties, satin steel paint, smoked headlights and taillights. It was a really cool truck and was assumed to be an upcoming Silverado SS, which as we know, never ended up coming to reality. Sad and here we are still waiting for a new sport truck. Now, some people will probably say in the comments that, you know, Ford, Ford is still making a sport truck. And of course, they'd be talking about the Shelby Super Snake, but it's an insanely limited production truck, just like the Yanko Silverado. Both of these trucks are awesome. The Super Snake, in fact, can be configured to 775 horsepower and the Yanko Silverado to 850 horsepower, which is just bonkers. Uh, but I don't put them in the same category as, say, the factory-produced Ford SVT Lightning or the Silverado SS. They're more or less just bespoke builds and neither appears on manufacturer's website. So we're still kind of without a factory sport truck, in my opinion. But... What if Chevy decided to drop the gauntlet, not pull any punches, and release a Silverado SS that would essentially just break the internet? What, what would that look like? Well, thanks again to my good friend and super talented artist, Oscar Vargas, well known on Instagram as WBArtist20, because he decided to take matters into his own hands, and he came up with this. The Silverado 632 SS Stepside. And man, do I love everything about this truck. Originally, Oscar had actually just planned to simply design a single cab sport truck with all the SS bits and pieces that we've come to expect, but he decided, you know what? 
That's not enough, because under the hood, he dropped the largest crate engine Chevrolet has ever come to market with, the 632 cubic inch big block V8 known as the ZZ632, which produces a face-melting 1,004 horsepower and 876 pound-feet of torque, and it does it all on 93 pump casts. It's most likely the biggest and baddest internal combustion engine Chevrolet will ever make, and it comes paired to the Supermatic 4L75E-R four-speed transmission that was specifically designed to go along with it for the ride. So I think we can all agree that the box for the power portion of this conceptualized design is certainly checked off. Now, if we take a look at the front end, we've got a well-sculpted but not over-the-top cowl hood, and after all, we're going to need all the space we can get in order to fit that 632 under there. We've got a completely blacked out appearance, leaving only the orange tow hooks and flow tie, which accent everything else, including the engine accents like the valve covers on this truck very, very nicely. And at, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure they're orange to match. Sometimes I, maybe they look a little red. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me. You guys tell me what you think, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're orange. As for the wheel selection, it's a knock out of the park. 22-inch double-spoke forged wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 performance tires fit this thing like a glove. It looks like a factory build, and that's the entire point here. Sitting behind the wheels, we forgot about the Brembos, throw those things out, because we've stepped things up even higher with a massive Willwood brake kit, giving us drilled rotors that almost fill the entire wheel, and color mesh calipers to, of course, set off the rest of the look. The truck clearly has a much lower stance, most likely sitting on more modern magnetic ride suspension systems, similar to what we'd get in Chevrolet's performance cars. We want this thing to be able to do more than just go in a straight line, so that would make the most sense to me. The back of the truck might arguably be my favorite part, because I have a soft spot for step-side pickups. Don't ask me why, I, I just do, and this one looks phenomenal. I mean, just look at how fat this back end is. Come on, who'd... Who doesn't love that? You'll also notice we've got the easy step rear bumper. You can see we've got rear parking sensors, a trailer hitch, and we'd have to assume a hidden exhaust since we can't visibly see any pipes hanging out, similar to like the new Sierra AT4X or the Silverado ZR2. The taillights look like they've been lightly smoked and the tonneau cover fits perfectly over the bed, which will of course help with the aerodynamics. And you know, it's a sport truck after all and aerodynamics matter. I absolutely love everything about this truck the drivetrain, the stance, the stepside configuration. This would be a literal dream come true for sport truck enthusiasts. But now comes the important question of the series. Would you buy one? I know General Motors sees my videos, and although they may be aiming for the EV revolution, we've still, you know, we've, we've still got a little time on the horizon. After all, the Escalade V came to market despite all the EV announcements. So, you know what? Who knows? Either way, a man can still dream. But maybe with enough pressure, we can convince them to give us a Silverado SS, even if it isn't exactly like this one. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, if you could just do me a huge favor, all I ask is that you smash that like button. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share the video with a friend. Be sure to check out the number one source for GM OEM parts if you're in the market, martysparts.com. And if you happen to live in the New England area and you're looking to buy a new Chevy or GMC vehicle and you don't want any headache, you don't want any markups, check out Marty's Buick GMC or Marty's Chevrolet. I will guarantee it will be the easiest sales process you have ever been through. And I will catch you all on the very next video. Have a great weekend, guys. Take care and thanks again.